So who we got here today? Dirt Boy, Sled Big Dirt, you know what I'm saying? Dirt Boy and Miss G. We the so, business. So how long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing this shit for a while, like, really since I was like about nine. Some shit like that. Type shit. What inspires you to make your music? Um, I just got a passion for it, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a crazy story. We'll get to that a little later. It just it just came to me like so. Like once I start making music, it just seemed like I'll be walking around with so much in my head. Like I can't even think straight until I get it out. Like I just have to push it out. I got a passion for it. Like I just got a drive for it. Like it's just third pretty to me. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Mississippi, born and raised. But my mother's mother originated from Chicago, Illinois. I still have family there. Uh, my dad's side of the family uh, originated in Detroit. And they really in Memphis right now. So I have family that's in Detroit, Chicago, Mississippi and Memphis, but I was born and raised in Mississippi. Who are some of the artists you would work with if you could collab with anybody? Shit. I'm open to working with anybody, man. You know, I ain't on that. We just trying to grow, expand the brand, and have fun with the projects along the way. What are some challenges of making music? Some challenges of making music? Yeah, some challenges that you run into as a musician. Uh, Honestly. like, okay, like sometimes like you might have too much shit going on in your head. Like, now I could be recording one song, but it's some other shit in my mind, like, going on that I really want to do on another song, and I'm already over here. But I say one of the main challenges is, like, Consistency, like you gotta stay consistent, and um, you know, just like brain fog. Like sometimes, like some people get writer's block, but I don't really get writer's block because I really don't write a lot. Like I really try not to write, but yeah, I say consistency, like for sure, because you gotta push through, man. Even if you don't feel like. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, personally, I record no matter what I'm going through. Like, I record when I'm happy. I record when I'm sad. I record when I'm mad. I record when I'm grieving. You know what I'm saying? Just everything I go through, I just record. Um, what was your childhood like? Uh, my childhood was, it was cool. It was kind of... It was kind of rough, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, for the most part, family orientated. Um, I grew up with my cousins next door to me. Uh, my auntie, she had five kids. My mama had three kids, and uh, my mother, and my auntie, they actually sisters. My dad, my uncle, they actually brothers. So you know, it was all of us on the half an acre right next door to each other you know so we always had something to do we entertain each other shit we really all we had was each other and we really was in the country like in the country in mississippi so you know like stores and shit they uh, they weren't just like walking distance and shit like of course everything now is expanding different they got a lot of more growth and shit now but like back then like we used to have to just entertain each other like play ball you know she just to keep each other entertained, but um, uh, it, it was it was rough a little bit, you know. But we made it through, you know. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for nothing if I could go back and do it all over again. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for nothing. It was cold, but it's fair, you know. My mom and dad did the best they could, you know. They eventually, you know, going their separate ways, but we we never went without anything, you know. My pop, she was a hustler. My mom, she was, she was always working and you know trying to provide 
And, you know, like I said, having older brothers and cousins, you know, growing up as you see, I saw a lot of shit that I wasn't supposed to see, like, real early, you know what I'm saying? So, I grew up kind of fast, you know. But, yeah, we'll get into that another time. Name, name your top five artists. Like, top five of all time or just, like, top five? Top five of all time. Mm, so, for me, growing up, like... I gotta say, I gotta say, Lil Wayne for sure, Master P, you know, and it ain't even just about the music with Master P, like he just, he just shows a lot of different, you know, talents and skills and shit, like, just to make you just wanna, you know, go get the bag, like, you can learn a lot from people like that. Uh, future for sure, for sure, for sure. Future definitely um one of my top five. Um, uh, how many it is three? Hmm, let me see who else. Well, you know, I did grow up on the Tupac. I can't even leave him out because I always heard it growing up. Like my brother was a Tupac head. You know what I'm saying? Like I grew up on it. You um, know. I'll say the last one, but it's really like two, but they like one together. Um, a ball MJG, like you know, they real pioneers of the South. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For sure. Like I definitely grew up on there. Like I still remember when I was young, boy, my dad used to be in his Cadillac, in his Cadillac, bubby tight grip with the tick. Now, now it's on the creek, hollow tip with the. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. They, they two different people, but they one, you know, so you can't leave them out. But I could go on and on, but you said five, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it short with that. So, uh, are you open to making different genres of music? For sure, for sure. But I don't give a fuck what kind of music it is. It could be some country. It could be some motherfucking reggae. Hey, what they talk about? What What's the budget like? What we doing? Shit, let's go. Uh, would you sign to a label? Man, it just gotta make sense. If it makes sense, then yeah, you know, but a lot of labels nowadays, like, it's a lot of 360 shit going on. A lot of people sign the labels that they can't release like they want to. Like, it'll have to be like more of me having control, you know what I'm saying? And the numbers gotta make sense. Make sense, of course, because. Like right now, I got my own label. I want to drop when I want to drop. I want to release when I want to release. Like distribution, for sure. I definitely do a distribution deal, like with a label or something like that. For sure. Um, are there any artists in the game that you feel like you can learn from? Yeah, I feel like you can learn stuff from all of them because she. They already made it to a level that you was trying to get to, and um, you know, even with the mistakes, like you can learn from other people's mistakes too. You know, like how people be like prime example for the uh, PM PMB situation. Like you see how his location came about, and he ended up getting murdered. Like you know, like we have to learn from it. You know, I could just learn from a lot of different people, like. The, the mistakes, the good, all that. But right. I feel like, you know, yeah, you most definitely can learn because they already where you trying to be, you know? You just got to pay attention to everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, but most definitely. Did you ever feel like you wanted to give up on or stop making music? Man, hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Man, so you know, I was just saying like how I grew up with my cousins and shit, and uh, you know, my auntie had five kids and my mama had three, so you know, we was right next door to each other. Like my auntie Kathy, she had lost all three of her boys and shit like that, you know. All of us up in the same age, like my brother and all them, like my big cousin, he my brother age, my my cousin, he up in my age, and then you know, like. Seeing them, like two of them got murdered 
And one of them died uh, due to cancer, man. You know, it was already tough. But I still pushed through. I kept recording. I just wasn't, like, releasing, like, because first the older brother died. He 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 was murdered. Uh, me and the younger brother of his, we was still in school. And, uh, you know, he started taking it very hard. And, you know, I was just trying to be more of a brother to him. Let him know he still got a brother. Even though he was my cousin, we just, we every day. I'm at their house, they at my house. We eat over there, they eat over here, you know, like, we running back and forth all day. So, like, that was, that was really a hard time for me, you know. Yeah, I almost, I almost, uh, didn't want to do music no more. But my cousin James, who I'm speaking of, he didn't want me to say real if he here. You know what I'm saying? He, he used to always want me to rap, like, no matter where he see me, yeah, he like could rap. You know what I'm saying? Like he like rap. Like I got in trouble one time on some street shit. Got caught up. The man came, knocked on the door. Was like, bro, you need to do music. Like you stick to that. You got something. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see you going down the wrong path, getting in trouble and shit. Like I want you to stick to the music. So you know, sometimes I just I still hear him in my head like rap, rap. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that was that was that was difficult. But losing the losing the baby boy that was my age, and like me and him were like the closest out of all. Like when he died, like man, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like I just shut down. Like I ain't even um. Uh, I just sat there for like three days, like just in disbelief. Like and um, I ain't I ain't showered. Like shit, I ain't do nothing like I was just stuck like I didn't want to talk to nobody I didn't want to do anything like it was just it was just a bad time you know he left kids behind all my cousins left kids behind so you know it just it was man it's still crazy it's hard for me to talk about it man I ain't even gonna lie but damn the hell yeah I, I didn't want to stop and get well though but I just knew this what they wouldn't want me to do so here we are today. I'm still pushing for them. They the main reason I do this shit for. For sure, for sure. What is MSMG? Okay, MSMG is music started my growth. You know what I'm saying? Cause it really did. Like damn near everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, if you if you was born in the motherfucking '80s, you listening to the '90s music. You know what I'm saying? It's like now people that's born in the 2000s, they listening to that music. Before that, you know, it was the 80s music, like the Balgier or the people that's before us, you know, it's just different generation. Like, the music is a big impact on the culture, like, of the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, even if you a kid, you walking around the house, your mama bumping something, you hear something, you go hear music somewhere. And the first time, you know, you find a song you really like, you know, you, you bob into it and, you know, that's how it go. And, and it really stands for that because, like, I actually never really wanted to rap. Like, I never practiced trying to rap. I didn't grow up and be like, hey, I'm gonna be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's a crazy story, but it's real. Like, my, my big brother, my big brother here have to be here to tell y'all about that, but I can tell y'all a little about it. Um, shit, man, it was like, I was like nine, he was like 14, and uh, man, we had bump beds. You know, he was on the bottom. I was on the top of shit, you know. Keep in mind, like I'm nine years old. The day before, you know what I'm saying? Years before, I never knew how to rap. Never knew how to rap. I never even practiced listening to a song in the car trying to learn how to sing it. I just woke up one morning, like my eyes still closed and shit, and I just woke up rapping. My brother, he was on the bottom point. He was like, hey, bro. Do you know what you just said? I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, do you think you can say it again? I'm like, she probably sold him. I could try it. So I just started doing it. And then, you know, over time, my brother just kept on being like, like my cousin, like rap. You know what I'm saying? Then he started making me like, hey, go in there and do it in front of mom and dad. I'm like, she do it in front of mom and dad. You want me to cuss in front of them? <laughs> she like, I can't do that. 
He was like, man, you got to do it in front of them, bro. You can't do it in front of them. How you going to do it in front of everybody? How you going to do it in front of the whole world? So I was like, damn, you got to put it. So they just kind of pushed me. Like my brother, he was the first one to actually hear me rap. And he the one who told my cousin and all them. So that's why everybody used to come to me and be like, rap. Like my cousin, he'll see me. I don't care if it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever I see him at. He go, as soon as we get in the car, he going to be like, rap. I'm like, nigga. Somebody already rapping. I never forget he picked me up in his cousin car. I believe one time uh, he was playing. Uh, you don't wanna go to war with a soldier. No limit, true. Like I said, I grew up on that masterpiece, shit like that. And he like rap, and I'm like nigga, I need a beat. He was like, you don't need no beat, nigga. He was like, rap to that beat. I was like, they already rapping on the beat. He was like, nigga, I don't wanna hear them. I wanna hear you rap over them. So I started doing that, and then it started helping me too. Like later on down the line, I didn't even know that what they was doing, but they was really just building me up to get to the point where I'm in now. So, yeah. What do you feel like your music brings to the game? I feel like it's just different. Like I don't feel like I sound like nobody. I don't feel like nobody sound like me or. It's just different and it's it's timeless, you know what I'm saying? It's timeless music, like I just feel like it's different and you know I ain't just sending people on the crash out miss it. Like I'm gonna tell you the real, I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, the ugly truth with this shit. Like, you know, yeah, I heard the people talking about, oh yeah, we trapping la 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 man, look here, go to school, get you a job. Don't let nobody tell you having a job is lame. They don't nobody tell you nothing that's not for you to go do that. People out here really going and do that and then, you know, they getting thrown away, they getting locked away, like trying to listen to the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, do you like I'm telling people to do you, like, vibrate high, you know what I'm saying? Be your best version of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'ma just keep it authentic with the people, so I feel like that was gonna separate me from a lot of people, you know. And like shit, we really out the mood with this shit though. Right, 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 right. Um What can we expect from Dirt Boy? Tell us briefly what we can expect from you. Whole lot of motherfucking bikers because man, I got so much music, like like I said, I've been just dealing with life and shit. Like, you know, I got like three, four computers full of music, like and it's timeless, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still recording. Like I said, I've been recording the whole time, like through the deaths, you know what I'm saying? The good, the bad, everything I've been recording, I just wasn't releasing, you know? So y'all can split y'all can expect plenty of music from me. You know y'all can expect plenty of artists, you know what I'm saying? Like come with a little roster. Right, that's that's what's that's what's up, man. Uh, what would you tell an artist that is trying to make music and build a solid fan base? I tell them stay consistent. I always record. Like even me, like when I was going through everything I was going through, I was recording, but I wasn't releasing. You know what I'm saying? Like always stay consistent and put your music out. Don't let nothing get in your way. Don't let no woman. You know what I'm saying? Get in the way of your career. If she rocking for you, she with you, she gonna be right there the whole time. Don't put your career off for no woman, no nigga, no nothing. Like, always be consistent and learn as much as you can so you can get as many people out of your pocket as you can. You know what I'm saying? And stay true to yourself. Don't don't sell out trying to do this shit because half of this shit smoking mirrors anyway. So be true to yourself. Keep it real with your people. And shit, stay consistent. Man, that's some, that's some great advice. Are there any other artists on the MSMG label? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. We got uh, Jack Frost, that my little brother. He he coming kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? I got my nephew, little Trip. He coming. We got DJ. He coming. Man, it's a it's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all just gonna have to. Tap in and see what's really going on, but we definitely got a whole little roster for sure. Some people just buying the scene, you know what I'm saying? They ain't popping out till they feel like it's time for them to pop out. But everybody around here working though, like we working for sure.
Alright, alright. Do you pay attention to the music industry and some of the things that headline in the music world? Hell yeah, because <coughs> I mean you got to. You gotta know what's going on in the industry, like and what's going on <coughs> in the field. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're trying to be a part of this shit because for one, you gotta be out here moving in the field. You know what I'm saying? You wanna know what's going on. So you want just end up in a situation or you over here linked in with this person and they got these going on, they got these going on, then you in the middle of this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to pay attention to everything that's going on. But not too much. It's just like, you know, keep my ear to the keep my ear to the streets for sure. Alright, for sure. Uh how do you feel about the P D situation? No coming. I ain't got no coming oh, okay, on the. Okay, okay, okay. No okay. coming on the P D. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll move past. Yeah, let's move past that. We'll <laughs> name five rappers you would bring back from the dead if you could. Five rappers I could bring back from the dead. Uh, for sure, Nipsey Hussle, cause like I just like the way he did. You know what I'm saying? He 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 was trying to show us something different. Uh, you know, with the game like. How he was selling his mixtapes, and you know he didn't just settle for the little small scream and getting a percentage. Like he showed people, like, hey, you do this right here, like, and it's just really like it's still a marathon. Like it still continue. Like I feel like I'm on a marathon right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for sure, Nipsey, uh, take off from the Migos, take off just that nigga, man. Like he just know how to put this shit together. Like them words. Take right. off, take off. Just he just know how to say this shit like without even trying. Like he just, he him. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's that too? Let me see. Damn, we got a lot of deceased rappers too, man. That's a hard one. Um, give me, give me some impactful ones that you think impact the music industry, the, the music world, the culture. Okay, that we talking. Okay, I say Tupac for sure. This three, um, man. it can be of all time. You ain't got to just be current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think, cause it's so many. It's so many. Man, that's crazy, man. Um, yeah. I say Bang Roll Fresh too. You know what I'm saying? He just he was a Atlanta guy, you know. He he showed you how to goddamn start from nothing and make it bigger. And for sure, young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Young Dolph is Young Dolph tell the nigga get paid, young nigga get paid, go get the money. It show you right. that you really don't need no major label for shit, you know what I'm saying? Like like I really you not know, really pay attention to Dolph, like Dolph. That for sure one of the ones I bring back for sure. Off the top. Um Tell the people how they can find your music. You can find me on Apple Music at Dirt Boy. It's D I R T B O I slash B I G D I R T YouTube just type in Big Dirt. You can go to my channel and subscribe there. Spotify, it's the same as Apple Music. Dirt Boy Big Dirt. Dirt Boy with the slash Big Dirt. All the other platforms is Dirt Boy Big Dirt except for YouTube. YouTube, you type in Big Dirt. It's going to pop up the same way too though. Once you go to the channel, the channel is Big Dirt. And once you get to the channel, it's going to still pop up the same way. Dirt Boy, Big Dirt. So, yeah, for sure. Are you open to doing any other than music once you make it in the music industry? Man, show me the money. We're doing everything but selling out. We're trying to do movies. We're trying to do TV shows. All this shit. We ain't doing no gay shit, though. We ain't doing none of it. All this. But, yeah, we open to doing, you know. For sure. Just expanding, you know. Just not no... Nothing, nothing crazy, you right. know. Just expanding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, who do you listen to? What's your playlist like? What are some of the artists you play? 
Oh uh, man, I really kind of listen to a little of everything. Like, I don't just listen to rap music. Like, I listen to all kind of music. But um, you can catch me bumping some Future. You can catch me bumping some Dolph. You can catch me bumping Gucci Mane 7, 1017 for sure. I, I, he should have been in the top five too, cause like he really, he really brought a lot to the game. I feel like as well, you know what I'm saying. He 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 showed us how to get his money. So if I could add to that top five, I'd definitely Gucci Mane. But Gucci Mane definitely in my playlist. Uh, Nipsey Hussle, man, I pretty much listen to everybody like Key Glock, uh, oh fucking uh. The whole Pepperell team, um, Matt Curta, FTLC, like, I pretty much listen to everybody, like, because I want to know what's going on with the music, you know what I'm saying? So, right, 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 right. I'm pretty much listening to everybody. You might catch me bumping, man, I got this swag. Back in the day, swag. I'm oh, serious. Like, I play everything, like. Right, me too. I'll, I'll do a little bit of Yeah, I play everything. Do you might hear me bumping some days, love? You know what I'm saying? You don't never know what you're going to catch me bumping. Like, when I slow it down, I slow it down. You know what I'm saying? You might catch me bumping some usher. You you never know what you might catch me bumping. Depending on the mood and vibe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anything else you want to add? Man, shout out my whole label. Uh, shout out my whole squad. Shout out my sponsor. Y'all shout out my sponsor. Y'all go follow my sponsor. This is her brand right here. And y'all gonna see me with these V's on a lot. Like she always keep me in the greatest and the latest. You know, yeah. Like man, everybody who rocking with me, my day one supporters, the fans. Like anybody who wanna work with me. Like we ready to work. We tapped in. I'm gonna let y'all hear a little music. You know, we gonna go from there. And she. I got two projects on the way. Did you like we going crazy? So I'll let y'all hear a little, little sample of how we coming, you know what I'm saying? So, for yeah. sure, for sure, man. Well, man, we appreciate you coming out, man, and, you know, giving us some insight into, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on. I, I know everybody can't wait until, you know, you start dropping that heat in those projects and getting that sound out. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, I'm going to drop y'all my sponsor's name in here too so y'all can see the 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 merch y'all can see what's going on and we got merch on the way too just if i merch on the way you know what i'm saying we ain't playing no games so y'all go tap in y'all go follow me y'all subscribe you know what i'm saying like share y'all can go with us and grow with us you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna be one of these niggas who gonna turn hollywood on you and act like I don't fuck with my fans on the live. Y'all coming on the live. I'm talk back to y'all. I ain't never going to make y'all feel like y'all listening to me. We all the same. What are we without y'all? You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to grow with me on my journey. Grow with me on my journey. So we can, A, get some feel good time. This music out here again. So we can just have some good vibes and good times like we used to. You know, calm down some of all this senseless killing and all this stuff that's going on. You know, shine some light. Drop some gems. And, and get most of all, you know, make some getting money music, get back to it. For sure. All right, man. We appreciate you coming out, man. Um, thank you for having us, man. Um, We're going to stay locked in with you, and we wish you the best. Man, for sure.